one of the most famous harness horses of all time was born today, March 14th, back in 1981. His name is on the road again. First, we'll check out that 1984 season when he was the three-year-old Colt Pacer and overall Pacer of the Year. The gutty son of Happy Motoring would soon live up to his name as he set out on a season-long tour of North America that would see him win 18 times at nine different tracks. On the Road Again took the first major test of the season, the Goudreau Memorial at Los Alamitos. It's on the road again, Guts on the outside, Guts a narrow lead, on the road again is second, Guts and on the road again, they battle stride for stride. And then proved the best in the first leg of Pacing's Triple Crown, the keen pace at Gonkers. Perhaps his greatest effort came in the Meadowlands pace, where he overcame a brutal trip and his arch rival Guts to take home the winner's share of the $1.2 million purse. On the road again now has taken the lead by three quarters of a length. Longfellow is now second toward the inside. Hobo's Willie is racing third. Guts is trying to make up ground on the outside. And Russell and Scott, and they're nearing the wire. On the road again, put to a hard drive. Guts is closing relentlessly on the far outside. They hit the wire, and On the Road Again has won it. Throughout the long season, On the Road Again continued to win in top stakes company. His driver, Buddy Gilmore, reflected on his durability. He's uh, extra smart that way. As soon as he gets done racing that, he takes good care of himself for the next two or three days. He rests real good and shipping don't bother him and uh, he don't get nervous or anything. And I think that's what keeps him going. He, he builds his stamina back up quick. And then rewriting the Windsor Raceway standard in his seasonal finale, the Provincial Cup. It's on the road again with the lead, on the outside Guts, on the road again by a length and a half now, Guts on the outside second, down through the lane they come, on the road again by two lengths, look at the teletimer, 153 and 4, a new track record. He easily captured honors as three-year-old pacing Colt of the Year, and his sterling campaign also earned him selection as Pacer of the Year. In 1985, On the Road Again was voted H Pacing Horse of the Year. All year long, Road, as he's known for short, faced the best older pacers and beat them. And beat them, and beat them 22 times in 30 tries. His $2.8 million bankroll is only one measure of his greatness. He outpolled all the others in his division in the balloting and might have easily been voted overall Horse of the Year in any other season. Among the highlights of his rugged campaign was his sweep of the World Cup pacing series at the Meadowlands. The second leg raced at a mile and a half in June. It was the perfect demonstration of his greatness. The mile went in 156 and 2, but there's a half mile to go. And on the road again is the leader, and Guts is right at his heels in second. And there goes Gold now, and he's sweeping three wide in a dramatic charge after on the road again. They're midway around the final turn on the road again. Gold is right at his neck with Guts tucked along the inside in third. Mr. Dalray joins the leaders now on the outside from fourth. Toward the inside, Mystery Skipper is racing in fifth. Tough choices for three wide as the field turns for home. On the road again is put to the test. Gold is just off his flank on the outside second. Here comes Guts gaining ground on the outside from third. Tough choice farther back and forth. On the road again with a clear lead. He's turned back Gold. He'll face a challenge from Guts. 50 yards to go. On the road again digs in. Guts on the outside. Guts is second best. On the road again has won it. On the same day his arch rival for Horse of the Year honors Nihilator won his 149 and 3 race. Road took his personal best of 151 and 4. And they hit three quarters in one. 23 and 3. At the top of the stretch. On the road again. Cuts the corner and holds on to the lead. Mr. Dalray now second on the outside. Butler BG toward the inside. Then farther back, George S. Guts comes on from the far outside. Gilmore goes to the whip. On the road again. Leads by two and a half lengths. Butler BG second. Guts far outside. They're coming to the finish. On the road again. He has done it again, this time in 151 and 4. As you might expect, Buddy Gilmore, Rhodes' regular chauffeur, raved about it. The only thing he don't do is talk back. He knows everything else. He does about everything we ask of him, whether it's around the barn or... He's got his own uh, personality. If he don't get his carrots just the right time or something like that, he gets a little mad. He lets you know. 
on the road again, who died in 2006, retired with over 2.8 million. By the way, he was a $10,000 yearling purchase. In his 61 career starts, he had 44 wins at 16 different racetracks. Happy birthday on the road again. I love flashing back to the 80s.